I will back. <laughs> sudden and then you just just go on with your life <laughs> yeah like nothing ever happened <laughs> no but for real though like sweden has ate all of norway okay give me an issue in the future oh well, they're your issue not my problem no nope, they're gonna colonize in africa and then come up and attack you they ain't about to colonize in africa is they're it a crazy? Colonizer. They're a big colonizer in this game. They're not gonna get into Africa. Portugal's the one that goes to Africa. Sweden actually typically goes for um, Alaska and um, like Canada. That's kind of the area they'll go for. Oh, well, then I definitely don't need to worry about them. Even though they're in the Arctic, they always have a very, um, a pretty good, um, military for some reason. I mean, I'm allies with them, so I don't, I'm not worried, but... I'm worried about them. Novograd's over there with their, Son their one horde. God. What? Oh, it's just Albania. Albania, go take care of your issue. They're not my problem. They're your problem. Albania is having a revolt. Maybe I should intervene in the war. What war? <laughs> hmm? What were you looking at? I mean, Poland is my ally. Uh huh. <laughs> Do you wish to betray my trust this early? What little trust I have left. I'm watching you. There's certain provinces. If you try to take them, I'm going to have to go to war with you. Oh, really? Yep. Like what? I'm. I, I don't trust you not to purposely take them. You don't trust me either. Wow. There is no trust in this in this friendship, guys. I, I don't know if we can even call it a friendship anymore. <laughs> we're at war. We're, you know, we're enemies at the moment. What? Whoa. We ain't at war. We're not at war. I'm watching you. I've been watching you. You're touching my country. You're it's touching not... my country. No, you are touching my country. <laughs> it's not the other way around. You started this. <laughs> <laughs> Help, dear. I actually can't see all of your country. Good. Part of it's gr green, grayed out. Good. I can tell where it is though. I mean, it's so shaded. Hmm. Still. Good. Can't believe you don't trust me. Hey, Burgundy's not at war. Cool. Hey, Burgundy, guess who's gonna be attacking you very soon? Good, you're gonna look away for a second. I can zoom out. <laughs> I think I know which provinces you don't want me to take, and I think I know which ones I really kind of want to take just to piss you off. 
I would go to war with you. Would you really? Yes. There's no love. I don't feel the love tonight. Really, I really don't. Too bad. My heart hurts. I will. So mean. <laughs> Why are you being so mean? Bohemia, where are you? I am fighting your war. I better get some stuff out of this. I'm gonna separate piece. They're probably... What is the war score? 40. I mean, all this is me. They're not doing anything other than being a punching bag. If I hadn't have joined in the war, they would have gotten hurt and taken over. I joined for me, but I also joined so that, you know, they wouldn't die. I wish you would give me war leader. Gosh darn it, I conquered all this stuff, not them. I should be able to negotiate for myself. Gosh darn it, I got some rebels somewhere. Stupid rebels. Rebels gum. Yes. Oh, they're all the way in freaking Peninsula Land over here. <laughs> peninsula Land? <laughs> yeah, you Florida. heard me. Over in Florida? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Florida man over here. Gosh, darn it. It's only 10 I, I wish you could name your own country. Yeah, I want that. That would be amazing. That would take this game to the next level. Muscovy has a fairly large army right now. They, I mean, they can have a fairly large army, but it seems like when it comes down to fighting, they're really bad at it. And I don't know if they just have really bad AI or what. But whenever I go to war with them, like fighting beside them, it's not pretty. And then um, whenever I fight against them, it's not that difficult. <laughs> so, I don't know. Okay. So have you gone to war with Burgundy yet? No. Oh, okay. I gotta... I got a lot more to... I gotta finish coring. Okay. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. Okay. Why? No reason. Why, I yes? End, I will end my war with Burgundy and attack you. <laughs> Just because I conquer a province doesn't mean that I'm gonna take it. I would like to put that out there, just so you know. What do you think I want? I'm not gonna tell you what I think you want. You know what you want. I'm pretty sure I know what you want. So... Yeah. Hey, my my heir finally grew up to be king. He's not the greatest king, but and automatically have a uh, a um, an heir, so that's good. That being said, Castile, do you have an heir? No legal heir. What? Blame that throne.
probably gonna separate piece soon. That bad? It's, uh, I mean, we're at 51%. They're at low war enthusiasm, but Bohemia hasn't done anything, and I'm worried that if they peace out, I'm not gonna get anything from this. And I'm not about to take over all of Lithuania, Moldova, and most of Poland and not get anything. Like, no. Mm -mm. It'll piss off Bohemia, but... Gotta think about myself. Gotta think about my country. What? I think I found who I'm gonna go to war with. Who? That'll be a secret for now. What? Not you. Oh. Don't worry, it's not you, but... Okay. But... Uh, definitely... Probably about to go to war with these people, and it's not gonna be pretty. Burgundy? No! No, not Burgundy, but... Bohemia? Australia? Or not Australia. Austria? Australia. <laughs> You're going to war with Australia! <laughs> no, I'm not going to say per se at the moment. Um, just because I gotta move troops and everything, and I may not move, be able to move them in time. It's a very dwarfed gap of time. Of Opportunity, per se. Okay. What am I looking? Oh, I'm looking for economy. My troops just had to be like literally on the other side of the world. Troops are always exactly where you don't need them. Telling me I have a truth with these people. Oh, I do have a truth with these people. Dang it, how long is this truth? Forever. Five years. Ah, we'll see what happens. Guess it gives me time to move everyone, but still. Yeah. That or rack up some serious admin points and go to war with them anyways and just buy stability back. Well, I think you get automatic 50 aggressive expansion, or, or is that for the beginning? Ooh. Bohemia got hurt. Bohemia might not be long for this world. Poland might not be long for this world either. Okay, the aggressive expansion won't hurt me too bad. You know what, Bohemia, if you break up with me again, I'm not I'm not calling on you again. I just want you to know. I'm not coming back. Sit. I don't care. Did you get a little bit? Oh yeah. Yeah, I pieced out ahead of time. 
Um, I took all of Moldova, some more of uh, Poland. I have a very unique opportunity, and I'm is it with uh, Castile? Yes. Figured as much because you said something about taking their throne. Yeah, Castile doesn't have an heir, and I can go to war with them and take their throne. I'd have to go to war with Castile, Portugal, Aragon, and Naples, and it would just be me. Mm, that's gonna be rough. Yeah, it would be rough. That's I. If I had all my troops, though, I would I would stand a chance. Mm hmm. Um, because I would just strike hard and strike fast, and, um... It's definitely doable. It's doable, but they may get an heir in the next five years, or, um... Forget. I don't even... I can look at the ledger. I'm still waiting for people to cross over, so... Still... Oh, yeah. Yeah, Bohemia broke their alliance with me. Good. You know what? Screw you, Bohemia. Castile has about 18,000. I can handle that really well. Mm -hmm. Aragon has... They have, like... No, they only have about 24. That's not bad. Uh, and then... Portugal... About 18. Yeah, but what kind of vassals... Do each one of those countries have none? Oh, I could, I, I could, I could do it. It wouldn't be easy, but I could do it. I'd also like probably take out two loans and murk up like crazy. Yeah, like where? I swear I have, like, just... Troops just disappear, like... Oh, there they are. It's not the Bermuda Triangle. They're still there. Somewhere. Sometimes I feel like it is. <laughs> it just takes forever to frickin' transport people. Yeah. Diplomacy. Declare war. Don't have an air. I could go ahead and start murking up. Oh, Venice is at war with Hungary. Interesting. I need to go to war with Hungary. They've, they've grown too much. They're too big. They have been, for the most part, the same size. Yeah, they've grown. They, they've grown some. You tell yourself. What, you think I'm imagining it? Wow. Imagination. <laughs> I've got two of my armies over. i got to get two more over. Where's the estate? <sighs> I know one of these gives me, like, admin. Oh, that little A-stack finally sieged that one cat- that one province. Good job. It only took you 50 years. Maybe by the end of the game you can take another province. We did 15 of these. Five of these, like five of these. Good God. Fifteen, five, five, Merc. Leave. How long do I have this true still? 1503. This is exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, I mean, if it worked out in my favor, I mean, it would be exciting, but... 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd be great. I'm still watching. Right now, if I did it, if I did it right now, I would lose six stability, gain immediately six war exhaustion. And only have two of my armies. Sounds terrible. Yeah, that uh, would probably make it so that you wouldn't win. No, no, I wouldn't. Uh, but I I'm preparing for. Yeah, yeah. Possibility. Because it would be fantastic. I forget. I think I have to get like 60 something war score. That's it? I think, I don't know. That's pretty low for taking over a whole country. Do they immediately become yours? Like Perfect. you or. Oh, okay. I have Provence as well. They would help. Mm -hmm. Little. To distract the enemy. Dang it, QQ took Armenia. I swear. I will murder you, QQ. Just so you know. Take him on once, I can do it again. I wonder if I could take Serbia as a vassal. They're so tiny right now. They're four provinces. Oh, Bohemia is building a spy network? Get out of town. I will eat you, Bohemia. Do not test me. Oh, never mind. You're part of the HRE. Screw that. Somebody else will eat you. Probably Poland. At least Brandenburg doesn't hate me. You're smart, Brandenburg. You haven't. Have they even been in a war? They've never called me. They've been in a few wars. Oh, okay. I mean, they've grown considerably from, like, their original three or four provinces. Yeah, that's true. Brandenburg is one of the places that's kind of doomed from the start, too, because they've got provinces that Poland needs in order to form the Commonwealth. But I saved them. <laughs> but I saved them. They owe me their lives. And doomed doom the world. How did I doom the world? Brandon Bug gonna take over everyone. Oh really? Are they? You think I'm gonna let that happen? Who knows? Ain't nobody gonna take over the world while I'm here. Mm-hmm. That's why I have to destroy you first. What? <laughs> Hold up. Back up off my country. Take it down. I like that the forts uh, further up north have snow on them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just zoomed really far in on the fort. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. Things I do while in pe at peace. Alright, I'm working on getting the last army over. 
Hungary's got a decent sized army. Who else are they friends with? The Papal States and Siena. Hey, Papal, you wanna like not be friends with Hungary anymore? You're really close to not wanting to be friends with Hungary anymore. What if we were friends? What if I became your friend? I'm a better friend than Hungary is. Let me tell you. Let me tell you by improving our relations. few uprisings but nothing too bad I've got like a negative seven on national unrest but I still get uprisings like crazy it happens yeah still just kind of silly because it's like no matter how high you're or how how high your negative unrest or whatever your stability is, you're still gonna have uprisings, and that doesn't seem right. There's always a chance. I guess. But I wanna live in a utopia where there's not a chance of an uprising. Well, if you have high, high stability and you have really really low unrest and you uh um, what is the other thing you can build courthouses and yeah. there's other ways as well there's a lot of ways to help with unrest they're just all really expensive ways yeah i mean my problem is is that my unrest isn't a problem but there's still uprisings Cause like I said, I'm at negative seven unrest. Like I'm chill. My country's so chill. It's it's neg. Uh, I don't know. I was gonna try and say something smart, but I don't have smart sayings. Yeah. Zero is still alive. Congrats. Yeah. I'm honestly kind of surprised. Castile still doesn't have an heir. That's great. How uh, how comes the getting the troops over there and everything? I've only got one more, and it's almost here. And then you're gonna attack. I think it's best for me to try to wait out the truce. Oh. Because I get six, I lose six stability. Yeah. Technically five, but, uh, and six war exhaustion. And, like, I don't, if I had enough diplomatic and administrative points to just buy it back immediately, I would. But. How I, long is the truce? Three more years. Ooh. It's kind of pushing it, but. Hopefully it works out. I mean, I think I can buy off the war exhaustion. Find that. Yeah, I could buy off the war exhaustion. I can do that three times and get rid of that. But the mm -hmm. stability would be very expensive. Yeah, stability is kind of steep. It would go to negative three. I think I could get it back to negative one. If I can get it back to zero, that would be enough. But I yeah. think I can only get back to. Yeah, if you're below zero, that uh, you can have a 
actual disaster happen. Yep. That's what I don't want to have happen while I'm dealing with all this. Yeah. Alright, all my troops are here. Mark you. Hungary is not faring too well, apparently, in the war against Venice. Are they still fighting Venice? Yeah. Yeah, now it's Venice, Naxos, Luca, the Knights, Ragusa, and some other place. Now it's the time to attack them if I want to. Mm, I shouldn't. Oh, I was... Improving relations with Bohemia. Screw those people. They have broken up with me twice. I shouldn't have gone back to them the first time. Should have left them out in the cold the first time. Daggone guy. George! How dare you form a... thingy. A thingy? Yeah, I... I'm not very good at talking at one in the morning. Oh, they're a vassal of QQ. Yeah, I know. They're one of the ones I couldn't get QQ to get rid of. I could only get rid of, uh, get them to get rid of two and then still take some provinces. I figured if I took enough provinces, I could touch Georgia and start working on them eventually once I got QQ to get rid of them. But. I just hadn't gotten around to it. There's so much happening up here at the top. I gotta pay attention. I'm still trying to regain troops from fighting Poland. It's taking forever. Take Defender of the Faith if I wanted it. Yeah. I really... I mean, I've never taken Defender of the Faith, but it seems really bad. Because it makes your tech stuff go up. And tech is so important in this game. It can be... It can be really useful. I mean, I assume that it's got its uses just because it's... I feel like everything has its uses in this game and it's... there's always good and bad but I just don't see the good in Defender of the Faith. The morale you get is pretty nice. Mm hmm. Army morale. Yeah. Yeah, I guess, but is it worth getting hurt in tech? It's the thing. I mean, not much, but it depends. Like, I would, I'm tempted to take it. Take it and see what happens. So I've I had it before. Oh. But, uh, okay. like, that extra bit of morale would be nice against Castile if I go to war with him in two years. Mm -hmm. I can. Building up a fifth army of actual troops and not uh, not mercenaries. Oh no! What? Capybara died. Capybara. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> Wait. And Zero's 44 years old. Oh, he old. Oh my god. I'm not gonna have an heir. Someone, someone remind him we don't have a retirement plan for NCR. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody gotta call up Zero. Just to, just to make sure. Oh no, this is not good. Um... How dare Capybara die? Oh. Ruin everything, Cap. Every time. I swear to God. Ruin everything. You know everything. he's gonna watch this. I know he is. I know he's gonna hear this too. Good. Good. Good, Cap. Glad you're listening. Just wanted you to know that you dying has ruined everything. This is your fault. I hope you feel bad. Wow. What? He's gonna be okay. I mean, not... I mean, he's dead, but... <laughs> he's be, well, he's dead, but... <laughs> The ghost in Hogwarts were okay, so I mean, it's gonna be okay. I wanna go to Harry Potter World. It seems fun. Now I've got negative money. Ugh. Blig. Not much I can do about it either. Like, uh. Are you at war yet? No, I got 1503. Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. I can't keep end. up with my own stuff. We should probably end the episode, though. Probably. Alright, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.